There's villains in every video game, but some video games have a special kind of villain. An evil corporation. So today, Tim and I are discussing our favorite, wor greatest, bad, evil corporations. Is that a great line? That's no, not a great line. No, that's not a great line. But let's start anyway. Okay, so what we have here is a top eight list. Yes. Because fuck top ten lists. Yeah, and five. And five, and we wanted to do eight. Um, okay, so number eight on the list is Abstergo. They're the Templar organization from Assassin's Creed. Yes, they are a, a special kind of evil because it seems that the entirety of their company is just dedicated to evil acts. Yeah. There's no front necessary. They don't produce anything. They may they as well be evil incorporated. They don't provide goods or services. Yeah, they're just evil, straight evil, with no dancing around the issue. And that's why they're last on the list, because it's just like... Come on, guys, make a Put front. A effort make in. a laundromat or something. Even <laughs> the mob does that. Templar dry cleaning, I like it. Yeah. All right, number seven on the list is Hyperion. Yes, from Borderlands 2, not one, when they were just in with the rest of the other gun corporations. Right. Uh, this is led by Handsome Jack. He takes over, what is the name of the planet? Pandora. Pandora. In an effort to just control it all and kill everyone, especially the Vault Hunters. Now, would you say that the company itself is evil or just Handsome Jack, the you know, leader of the company. Well, I think he's evil, but since it's like a, a trickle-down effect of evil, mm, they're yes. evil too. Because they follow, yes, Reaganomics, Reaganomics of evil. which is also evil. They don't make necessarily guns that are evil. No, well they make like kind of shitty guns, like shitty the Walmart guns. of guns, you know? Mm. In that game, and I, I like. If they're the Walmart of guns. They might should be number one on this list. No, for like, evil. Okay, and the levels of quality. <laughs> okay. I'm more into Jacobs, that's just me. Okay, number six on the list is Altor. Uh, I think Altor deserves a special place on the list because it's the evil company in not one but two game franchises. Okay. Both um, Saints, Saints Row, Row and Red Faction. Uh huh. Now the interesting thing about Altor is that in Saints Row you see that they start as like a small clothing line company. Uh huh. And then they eventually advance to the point of interstellar, interstellar mining conglomerate. How, where is the transition in that? I'm not exactly sure, but you could see the roots of it forming in Saints Row. You, That's you, weird. you can like discover secret futuristic mining machines. That's like if Ralph Lauren suddenly decided, let's get into drilling. Yes, That's on Jupiter. <laughs> on Jupiter. And there's nothing oh. to drill on Jupiter. <laughs> That's the worst part. Move That's along. Stupid, Ralph Lauren. All right, number five is Aperture Science. I like Aperture because they're not necessarily evil. So much as they're very irresponsible and unethical. Well, considering they started as a shower curtain manufacturer company, That's what they started as? Yeah, making shower curtains for the military. Okay. And then they were developing new types of uh, plastics and techniques and then eventually got into the, you know, spatial distortion business. Lemon grenades. But you're right. It's <laughs> it's uh, it's much closer to a lack of uh, ethics. Well, they don't, you can tell that they don't really care what happens to the test subjects or anyone who uses any of their products. Yeah, there are there are uh, five basic categories of these evil corporations, and they fall into uh, mining companies, pharmaceuticals, uh, securities and weapons manufacturers, like experimental stuff like Aperture is. Mm -hmm. And the last one, which brings us to our next company, is companies that are just de dedicated to throwing to the death tournaments. Yes! <laughs> so, you want to intro this one? Mishima Zaibatsu. It's the, the organization run by the Mishimas, Haihachi and Kaz Kazuya, Kazuya and Jin in the Tekken series. And all they seem to do is throw death tournaments and send out death squads to kill people who might win the death tournament. I don't really understand their business model. One but time they bought a rocket ship and tied all his relatives to it and launched it into space. I don't know how they make or keep any money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what their investors see in that company, to be honest. All right, number three is a tie. Yes. Because these two evil companies, they're pretty much evil in the same way. Uh -huh. uh, it's Black Mesa and Union Aerospace Company uh, from Doom. And what they have in common is they both opened a portal. Yes, they Doom. have you know, wanton disregard for <laughs> their activities and what they do, and they each opened up a, what would normally be you know, fine interdimensional travel, except they opened it up to a, a dimension that's like full of Bad, nasty. evil dimension that ruins this dimension. Yeah, whether it be another dimension or hell itself. 
Um, a lot of disregard for safety and OSHA violations aplenty. But think of the profits. <laughs> yeah, all the <laughs> profits from being <laughs> enslaved by a different race from another dimension. Number right. two is N Shinra. Shinra, which actually doesn't fit into my five-tiered uh, company, which is why it's number two. They started out as a small weapons manufacturer, but then like really hit it big with energy production, electricity. Mm -hmm to the point where they become they like the government. They <laughs> drilled into the earth to kill it. And discovered and Mako energy. And things did not go well after that, yeah. especially for Aerith. So now they pretty much run everything. Mm -hmm. And they're ruthless. And they put giant cannons on cities, blimps, airships, everything. Giant cannon business. It's pretty evil. Well, they, they fall into the weapons manufacturing. Yes, that's true. That's true. And number one is? Uh, undisputably, the Umbrella Corporation. Explain why. Well, they are the worst of all of the different pharmaceutical companies. Uh -huh. uh, they seem to produce pretty much just uh, viruses and parasites that will enslave <laughs> uh, the human race, destroy Are you everyone. saying viruses are not a good thing to produce? Yeah, they, I mean, they have the T-virus, the T-Veronica, <laughs> the G-virus, the nemesis parasite. Um, really, all of all that they do is turn people into they rabid zombies. They produce viruses and dump them on people. <laughs> <laughs> and they accidentally have leaks in highly populated areas, like all the time. How do they make? I don't understand how most of these companies make any money. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> most, I think, most evil companies are privately funded uh -huh. by rich, eccentric billionaires. Yeah. Um, who want to destroy life as we know it? Does That's it reflect tough. the real world? Uh, yeah, I'd say most of uh, bit. there's a lot of evil companies in our world. Most of them just want to uh, make me pay too much for the internet uh -huh. and then not give me really good service. Uh huh. Um, but a lot of them are pharmaceutical companies too. And want to drill into the center of the earth and kill it. Yes. Um, it happens in real As life. usual, we only have eight, and you probably disagree with all of them. So if you have any suggestions for the worst evil, best worst evil companies, weird title, Please leave them in the comments.